look at this this is dreamy don't you want to ride on the water on your horse I want to go here now. So many of you guys are interested in the farm stay that I did and I thought I'd make a video walking you through how I planned my farm stay year. If you're in France for your studies and you have a gap year in between, this is really the ideal way to go. Before I did the farm stay, I was just so attracted by what other people were doing. My European friends went to Japan, to Korea and my Indian friends were taking some travel break, going back to India or just do traveling around Europe and good for them. I just did not want to spend my time and money on tourism yet because I kind of felt that I had a lot of French to acquire, you know. My mind was set on polishing up my French so that I'm job ready when I hunt for jobs in two years. So I took a less traditional approach and the idea came from this person I met at a language learning club. Czech girl who was living in Lille and I asked her what she was doing over there. She was learning French. She wasn't studying business or something. She was working on a farm and I was like, I didn't know there were farms in Lille and how did you find this farm in Lille? Is there a special website for this or something? And she introduced me to this website that is helpx.net. Click on find hosts. I made sure to pick farm stay because I really wanted to have a non-city kind of an experience. Here in the keywords, pick what you're interested in. I didn't hesitate. I just looked for horses and find hosts. So you get a list of farm stays where they have horses. If you like to ride horses and brush horses, feed them and clean up. If that's interesting for you, like it was for me, then this should help. Otherwise, if you're interested in making wine or making cheese, look that up. If you're interested to learn how the French make bread, then look that up. Before going any further, I want to leave a disclaimer over here. I don't want to take responsibility for your experience. People left really bad reviews because they had a bad experience. This is really on your own risk. I got really lucky and I was adventurous to try this. It is out of your comfort zone. It's not your language. It's people you don't know. They could be mean. They could, I don't know. It could go anywhere. My host was loving. They were not racist and I got really lucky, I guess. But I will say this, uh, you should learn to grow a thick skin before you go there. I met people who were surprised, who were shocked and uh, which I interpreted as racism back then because the words they use for them is not shocking. They've never seen a brown man before. And this was not really the family that I was living with, but more the clients that came over there because they were just people from the local villages next door. They were shocked to see me. I was shocked of what they were saying. This can happen. So tread with caution. If, if you can't do this, then go to education first or something. It's a little more expensive. You'll have a much more polished experience, but I wanted to go rustic. So this is what I did. Once you see something that you think you like, this is a beautiful picture. Open it up and see the rest of the pictures. They have a small write-up where they will point out what they want you to do while you're there. Facilities, cultural experiences offered. Who can cook a traditional meal. I could make some Indian food. Don't look for 200 reviews either because I went to a place that had, I think five or six reviews, that's it. Um, I must say, I think I got lucky. The farm family was just so loving and so fr If you haven't seen that video, just check this out over here. These people grew so close to me when I moved to Amsterdam a few months later to do my internship. They came to Amsterdam to visit me. They spent a nice weekend. Uh, they drove all the way. They'd never been to Amsterdam before. We had a nice three days away where we went to museums and stuff. I would never go to a museum myself. We went in the boat and everything. It was, it was a lot of fun. One of their daughters is getting married this August and I'll be visiting uh, their wedding. Uh, Christmas time, I was far away away from home and I didn't have the opportunity to go back. All my friends in France, of course, want to spend Christmas with their family and I would be an intruder. Uh, no one offered. That's understandable. I didn't want to ask either. I just called the farm. You guys already know me. I don't have anywhere to go and I don't want to spend Christmas by myself. Would you mind if I came? And they were like, oh, what are you saying? Of course, just come. And we had a nice time. They made a traditional raclette for me. They made two or three traditional French Christmas meals for me. They went visiting their friends. They had friends over and I was just always part of the crew. Oh, we are five. We can't take the small car because I was one of the five. You know, I was just so warm. You do need to have a premium account to contact these people. Create a premium account. It's 20 euros for two years. At least right now, it may change, but I think it's completely worth it. Once you create the account, you can contact them. You can video call with them. And that's what I did with the Dutch farm that I'm going to live on this August. I told you guys about that in this video. Man, I'm just tagging my videos. I found the Dutch farm on this website as well. And we had a video call and they were just so, uh, I just like, I loved their energy. And that's where we are going. That's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Leave a like if this video helped you. It helps the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Half of you guys that watch my videos haven't subscribed. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one, probably this week. Take care of yourselves and until then, keep learning.